Hi students, okay, all are nalla irka. So we have a good question in front of you, very easy question only, fundamental question. So try to listen to it and we will do it very easily. Okay, so question here is a boy standing at the top of a tower of 20 meter height drops a stone. Assuming g is equal to 10 meter per second square, the velocity with which it hits the ground is, the stone hits the ground is. So let us try to assume this situation very easily. Okay. So all the things uh, I am writing here is in detail for you to understand. But in exams, you don't need to do, do all these things. Okay. You can use these lectures for understanding the chapter very thoroughly. Okay. So let's say this is my tower. Okay. This is the tower. Uh, the boy is standing. Okay. So maybe we can put some design as well if you need it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Very easily. Okay, so let us assume this is the tower in which the boy is standing and they are telling about what is the height of the tower that also they are telling. Okay, what is the height they are mentioning? It is 20 meter height. So height of the tower they are mentioning it as 20 meter. So I will uh, draw that for your understanding. So I will mention here it is 20 meter. Okay, so I hope it is clear. Okay. So this is the height of the tower. Okay. Now let's say my boy is standing here. I will put the boy in another color. Okay. So let's say this is our boy. Okay. Who is standing here. He drops a stone from here. Okay. So this is our stone. So he is dropping that stone. So what is the meaning of dropping a stone means? So he is dropping a stone. So the stone is trying to move in this direction. Okay, so it will fall in this direction. Now, since the stone is dropped, we can say that the initial velocity with which the stone is moving or initial velocity of the stone is 0 meter per second. Correct. Now, please understand every time the acceleration due to gravity G act in the downward direction G is in the downward direction and here the value of G is given as 10 meter per second square. Okay, now they are asking you what is the velocity with which it strikes the ground? That is a question. So let us apply the fundamental equation V is equal to U plus AT. Now we will apply the sign convention. Now we know that U is equal to zero. So we don't want to worry about that. And AT, AT is coming into picture. Okay, so acceleration due to gravity, we know it is in the downward direction. We are taking anything we are considering in the downward direction. We take it as negative and anything in the upward direction we will take that as positive please remember this while applying the sign convention so this will become minus g into t so what is the time taken for doing that so that is not there so we don't know that okay so that means we cannot use this equation actually why because time is not mentioned so we will remove this and again come back with another equation because we know distance is there so i am going to use s is equal to ut plus half a t square okay now again we know that u is equal to zero so the equation will become fundamentally s is equal to half a t square Okay, now comes the important thing again acceleration due to gravity G that is acting in the downward direction. So I am putting minus here into G into T square. Now comes another problem. Now here we know the distance. Yes, we know. Correct. Yes, we know. So we can put that but you need to remember one thing the displacement we are checking from in the downward because the boy is standing upside and we are checking the displacement in the downward direction because this distance is 20 meter so we will put here minus 20 okay i hope you understood why i have kept minus 20 because we are measuring it in the downward direction okay so we cancel this minus at both part we will cancel it and we will calculate t square here okay so t square can be 20 into 2 divided by g which is nothing but 10 so t square is nothing but 4 or we can say t is equal to 2 second. Okay. So once you know the t, it's very easy. You know that you can apply the standard equation v is equal to u plus at. Okay. 
so you can apply that so again u is equal to 0 and g is in acting in the downward direction so into minus 10 into t so it is equal to into 2 so what you are getting v is equal to minus 20 meter per second so i can say that since it is moving in the downward direction that's why the sign is becoming negative don't worry about that so the magnitude with which it hits the ground i can say that is 20 meter per second would be the correct answer i hope it is clear for you you can uh, you can easily get this also by another equation v square is equal to u square plus 2as we can also do that as well don't worry so multiple methods we can try it out all these are part of learning so v square is equal to u square plus 2as now velocity we need to calculate so i will put v square like that u square initial velocity is zero so minus two y minus is coming again g is there in the downward direction and we know that displacement is also in the downward direction so we can put there minus 20. so what is what you are getting in that case you can see 20 into 2 40 40 into 10 400 so you are getting 400 as v square okay now v is equal to what you will get v is equal to plus or minus 20 okay you can choose the direction as you need okay so again i am getting the same answer so it's very easy i hope you understood any doubt you can use directly this equation that would make the work easier or you can do it like what i have did initially it's all about understanding it in the clear way okay so what is the answer so the answer is option 2 is the correct answer okay i hope it is clear for you mm? so if you have any doubt feel free to ask uh, in the comment box and if you need any support you can contact brainiacs classes